Remember favorites videos? There were some of my favorite videos to shoot, pun intended, and it has been a while since I've done one. It is January 2022. I am ready to get back into the monthly favorites videos. I'm going to try and make these as concise as possible, but I'm talking about beauty products, which is my favorite thing, so they're probably going to get a little wordy. If you just want to blow past me and get links to things that are in my favorites, you can find them right below this video. Let's start with body care. So I have two body washes. I discovered this product because it came in a gratis package from Sephora Squad. I'm laughing because of the name of them. I, I love it. It's Calm the F Down and Wake the F Up. So Wake the F Up was the first version of this uh, body wash that I had, and I've never smelled anything like it. I have to smell it. I wish y'all could smell it. It has like a little bit of lemon. Um, I did some searching for like fragrance based on the notes that they've highlighted in this body wash on the Sephora website. Oh, it's just, it smells like a spa. It smells exactly like a spa. So wake the F up. It's like an uplifting, bright scent. And then calm the F down is really opposite. It smells really nice. A little bit um, more masculine in a smell to me. Oh, it's very nice though. It's, oh, it smells a little more like woodsy. Anyway, I had to get both of these when I saw them back on the website. So I like to use this in the morning. Occasionally I'll shower at night and use this one, but honestly, I'll just use them interchangeably. So those are two, two body washes I've been enjoying. And then a body cream. I don't regularly use body lotion in, in the summer, uh, mostly because it's so humid here. But in the winter, my skin gets really dry. And I also got this in a PR package. The, this is a Bomb Dia Bright Cream. Um, by Sol de Janeiro, Janeiro, Janeiro. I didn't look up how, how to pronounce it and I'm sorry. Um, this is like the mini size. It smells so nice. It's like a brightening cream. I'm not noticing that my legs or arms look any brighter, but it smells fantastic. It's like, it's fruity and fresh. I like fruity body lotions. Like I have a watermelon body lotion from Glow Recipe that I really love. Um, so anyway, I was happy to try this and really enjoy the scent. So I grabbed a bunch of things from my shower, so I'm going to keep going through what normally lives in my shower. Those body washes are two of them. The number seven Total Renewal Microdermabrasion Exfoliator is my answer to Ola Henriksen Walnut Scrub. Listen, there's a lot of strong opinions on whether or not to use like a gritty exfoliator versus a chemical exfoliator. And sometimes I like a gritty exfoliator. My skin's really dry. I do my best to keep it hydrated. I use chemical exfoliators regularly, but sometimes I just need the grit. And this one's really nice. Honestly, the Ola Henriksen Walnut Scrub is intense. It has nods to um, the Apricot Scrub. This one's a little bit softer, a little bit more gentle. It reminds me of, um, not philosophy, Dermalogica. No, not Dermalogica. It is philosophy, Micro, the microdermabrasion uh, exfoliator. So this is similar to that. I love the price point and that I can easily pick it up at Target or, I think Target's the only place you can find number seven around here, but I think this is a European brand. Uh, anyway, so that's in my shower. And then oh, my favorite purifying shampoo is, <laughs> it's got product on top. I just took it out of my shower. It's from Virtue. This is a clarifying shampoo that's gentle on color. It's not gonna strip your hair and make it feel like you just washed your hair with Dawn dish soap, not good. Some like old school purifying or clarifying shampoos would make your hair feel that way. They'd clean the heck out of your hair, but your hair would feel terrible afterwards. This one like answers all of the problems to past clarifying shampoos that were too aggressive, but it's still really effective. Like, I don't know how it works but I'll use this on like a Sunday or a weekend when I just wanna refresh my hair from a week of products, sweat, uh, I have hard water, so this helps like really clean it. Anyway, it's my favorite. Safe for color, gentle on the hair, really effective. The last hair product I wanna tell you about, I got the uh, Briogeo Don't Despair Repair. This is a new product from them. I follow them on Instagram and they've been hyping this up for weeks and I actually really loved their marketing of it because I was like, what are they making? Um, it's cool, it has a duo uh, pump here where there's two different formulas. You can kind of see that, there's two colors here. And you pump it and they come out evenly into your hand. But it is a rice 
water, protein, and moisture strengthening treatment. Like a deep conditioner, like a hair mask, it has protein to help rebuild the hair and then also some products in there to moisturize and soften the hair as well. That's the key. Sometimes with protein, you get the strength in the structure and you get no moisture at all. And you know, your hair feels terrible and you're like, wait, was that good for my hair? It works more on the inside and the protein is key, but sometimes you just want like a softening hair mask too. Um, so this one from Briogeo is a nice balance of both of them. The last hair product I want to talk about is a hairspray. This does not live in my shower, but um, it's the Verb Ghost hairspray. I love Kenra Volume 25 still for a firm hold. If I need my hair to just be still, it's still brushable though. It's just, I'm always going to love Kenra. But if you want a more flexible hold hairspray, like we don't have a lot of humidity right now. It's January in Raleigh. Um, so this weightless, like medium flexible coverage, similar to Amika's Fluxus. Um, I like the size of it. I don't know. It's just been a nice hairspray. So I've used it a lot. All right, let's move on to skincare. I tried the new Shawnee Darden Lactic. Oh, uh, I always get it wrong. Lactic Acid Exfoliating Serum. I've been using this for a couple weeks now. Y'all know the Retinol Reform was like my intro to the brand. I saw this on Anna May Groves. Go follow her on Instagram. I saw this on her Instagram uh, stories. And then I got it in a gratis package from Sephora. And I was like, yes, Anna just raved about it. I can't wait to try it. I tried it, fell in love. So when Shawnee Darden released a lactic acid exfoliating serum, I was like, sign me up. I must try it. They do similar things to the skin. Retinol is a little bit more intense than like a lactic acid. They both Refine the skin's texture. Lactic acid is a little bit more geared towards exfoliation, clean, bright, fresh skin in the morning. A retinol product like this one will also do that. But anyway, there are differences. They're kind of similar, but there are specific differences between both of them. The best place I can direct you to really break down the difference between both of them is Shawnee Darden's Instagram page. She's put up a ton of videos, helpful um, Instagram stories, Instagram videos explaining what type of skin or what person should use the lactic acid exfoliating serum and which person should use retinol reform. So it's just, some people are really sensitive to a retinol and it'll hurt their skin even though this one is packed with really soothing ingredients. If you just don't wanna do retinol or you can't for whatever reason, maybe the lactic acid serum is for you. I'm alternating them. So one night I'll do retinol reform, another night I'll do the lactic acid exfoliating serum and then I'll keep flip-flopping. A skincare product that I've discovered and loved for the past few months is this SkinCeuticals Triple Lipid Restore. I don't know what the 242 is, but it's there on the end. My esthetician, Sheila, recommended this to me, and I've been testing and trying moist different moisturizers over the years. I have some that I've used, like Fresh Lotus Youth Preserve with Super 7 Complex from Fresh. I used for years and years. I used a Bobbi Brown moisturizer for years. Uh, Laneige made a glow, is it Laneige that made the vit glow like vitamin C cream? So I've used a lot of moisturizers and I have dry, sensitive skin. So sometimes changing up a lot of products disturbs my skin. It's just kind of the nature of what I do here. The one product that truly felt like it healed my skin was this moisturizer, Triple Lipid Restore. It is rich and thick. It soothes my skin. It feels heavy, but I like that. I haven't used this in the dead of summer yet. I started using it in the fall um, and it is January now. So I may have to pivot another direction because it is that thick and hydrating come like January, or, uh, July or August. But for right now, it is a lifesaver. I got my mom on it. It is very good. So if you have dry sensitive skin, skin that like will get irritated if you look at it wrong, <laughs> the Triple Lipid Restore might be a good option for you. Speaking of fresh, they have a new uh, fresh sugar lip treatment. It's the Citrus Rush. I love these. This is no color. Oh, it smells like lemon. Um, but I love having these in my bag. Honestly, it's something that I can use. I can let my kids use it too because there's no color on it. I have plenty of lipsticks in my bag. But when my son Luke is like, Mom, my lips are trapped. I'm like, here. So you don't have to put on bright red lipstick. Uh, so anyway, I just always love these. They have some with a color to them and they have some without. So this one obviously has no color, but it smells really great. A few makeup products I want to tell you about are some glow enhancing products. This is the Armani, I always get the name wrong, Fluid Sheer Glow Enhancer. I have shade two 
there's like four or five shades of this, maybe six, but there's not a lot. Um, you could use this direct on your skin as highlight. What I like to do though is mix it into my foundation. So on my foundation brush, whichever one I'm using, I'll do a pump of foundation and a pump of this glow enhancer and then just spread it onto my skin evenly. I love this product so much. It just makes my skin look incredibly radiant. I've mixed it with medium coverage, with full coverage. It works flawlessly every time. Highly, highly recommend. It's similar to, but in my opinion, better than the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. A lot of people have and love that, and what may work for someone else may not work for me. So if you tried Flawless Filter by Charlotte Tilbury and didn't like it, try the Armani one. I think you're gonna like it. I also like that it's a little smaller than Flawless Filter. Another glow enhancing product is this Hourglass palette. Hourglass makes um, individual containers of this finishing powder that has a little bit of radiance to it and they have different tones as well, which is really helpful. They have some that are more golden, some that are more pink. Um, they're all the like radiant light uh, lighting powders. That's the name of it. I got this palette during some event or sale last year. So this is the lighting palette in, I think this is lighting palette number one. There's two. It's not telling me if I have one or two here, but the shades I have are dim light, incandescent light, and radiant light. So what I like to do is just brush my powder brush through all three of these colors and then dust it on my skin. So between these two, my skin looks like it has a filter on even though it doesn't. And if you wanna see a makeup tutorial featuring these two products, I have it on my blog and my Instagram. So check it out there. So my skin is more pink or cool toned in terms of the undertone. Some people are more yellow based, other people are more pink based, some people are flat in the middle, neutral. I lean a little bit more towards the pink end of the spectrum. So bronzer sometimes are way too orange for me. This Too Faced Milk Chocolate Bronzer is matte, which I love, and it is a great color if you are pink toned with your skin. No, lightness or darkness doesn't matter, but if your undertone is more pink, this is a really nice bronzer. Um, that's not gonna be too orange. So I love it, the color is Milk Chocolate. Yeah, Milk Chocolate, and it's the matte bronzer. Too Faced has a lot of bronzers, but this is my favorite. I got this little eyeshadow duo from a uh, skincare order because I was trying to hit a certain price point to save money, and it's not the dumbest thing that we all do, but it's it works, it works for me. Um, it's by Wander Beauty, so there is a cream eyeshadow on the bottom and then a shimmery powder eyeshadow on top. I love it. I love how compact it is. You can just rub your finger in the bottom there and blend it all over your lid. You could use a brush too if you wanted to. Um, but this color is like a really nice neutral taupe. I know I'm right in the light there, so I hope you can see that. And then this shimmer, it has a little bit like of a gold champagne look to it, but it's really cute. I love the packaging and how small it is, and it works really well. I've worn it. It doesn't crease or anything like that. The last two makeup-based products I want to tell you about are concealers. This is the Clay Depot concealer. Full price, it's $73. I know. I'll wait for you to get up off the floor. Okay, you're back. That's stupid. <laughs> I did buy it on sale, but the people that love this product rave about it. They say they'll never buy another concealer again. It does amazing things. So me, beauty blogger, I, I have to try it. I have to. Part of me thinks I tried it like 10 or 15 years ago, but I can't remember. Anyway, I gave it another go and I was like, okay, yep, let's keep testing it. So I used it for a couple weeks and then I was like, you know what? Let me try the NARS Creamy Concealer one more time and really see my if I've been transformed to a Clay Depot uh, concealer user. I like this better. I love the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. The shade I have is vanilla. I also have creme brulee. Between the two, this one outperformed. It looked better on my skin. I'm so much happier with the results of this than this. Just for me. There's people that love this and can't imagine living their life without it. I tried it. I know now. I could easily throw this in the trash. It would hurt, but I wouldn't miss it at all. I would miss this if I didn't have it anymore.
So that's what I have for you today. It was fun to do this uh, beauty favorites video again. It's been a while, but I'm happy to be back. I hope this was helpful and you enjoyed watching. If you want to find links to anything, they're right below this video. Also follow me on Instagram. I'm K8 underscore small things. If you like beauty stuff, that is the place to be to get first impressions. I tell you all what I'm buying. Um, like I shared when I bought that concealer. And so a lot of you followed the journey of me being like, I'm testing it. Anyway, so if you enjoy that process, you'll find that all on Instagram stories.